Good morning, Cold Spring Harbor. I'm Dean Carfora. And I'm Danny Moore. Today is Wednesday, September 28th, and it's a day five. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. The current members of Natural Helpers are asked to attend tomorrow's meeting after school in the Junior High Library. Attention all 7th and 8th graders. The Baking Club will hold an informational meeting today at 2.30 in room A12. There is an international club meeting tomorrow after school at 2.30 in J36. New members are always welcome and candidates should hand in their speeches no later than today to either Madame Kubers or Monk Rally in the language office. They will hold elections on Thursday after speeches. Gracias, merci. If you have not turned in your proper and acceptable student technology form, you will be denied access to the internet on school computers. Please return your signed, completed and signed acceptable use form to Ms. Malone in the junior high office to have your account reactivated. If you would like to volunteer as student ambassadors for the junior high back to school night on Thursday, October 13th, please leave your name with Ms. Malone in the junior high office. There will be a pep club meeting tomorrow at 7.15 in room J26. We will be deciding on spare week themes and games all me new members must attend. New members are always welcome. Please see Singerita Sixnell or Ms. Ranieri with any questions. There will be a mandatory informational meeting for anyone interested in trying out for the competition cheerleading team next Wednesday, October 5th at 2.30 and 8.06. This is open to all students grades 9 through 12, even if you are not currently on the cheer team. If you can't attend or have questions, see Ms. Whitney or Ms. Sixnell before the meeting on Wednesday. Save the Children will have a student ambassadors meeting tonight at 7 p.m. to 8.30 in the high school library. This meeting is only for students who want to get more involved in Save the Children. If you, do not to, if you do not belong to the club, you do not have to come tonight unless you want to go above and beyond the club responsibilities. See Mr. Homer with questions. Attention seniors, the following colleges will be visiting today. Duke, period 2, Mullenberg College, period 3, Johns Hopkins, period 7, and Rollins College, period 9. You must have a signed pass from your teacher to attend if you have a class during the period of the visit. There's a robotics meeting today after school in the computer science lab. Grok, the high school creative writing and art magazine club, will have its next meeting today at 2.30 and 8.16. All students are welcome to attend. And now to Summer Hayes with Words of Wisdom Wednesday. Today I would like you to think about these words. Overthinking is the biggest cause of our unhappiness. Keep yourself occupied and keep your mind off of things that don't help you and think positive. These are perfect words to live by for getting through a long week. Sometimes it is easier said than done, but try to think positivity and things will go better. Have a great Wednesday everybody and now for your Seahawks sports update. Good morning, Coles from Harper. I'm Kira Cochran. And I'm Liam Golan, and this is your Seahawks Sports Update. Today's away games are JV Girls Tennis at Roslyn at 4.15, and JV Field Hockey at Garden City, and Swimming and Diving at Lindbrook, both at 4.30. There's a boys JV soccer game at Melbourne today at 5 o'clock. Today's home games are Varsity Girls Tennis versus Roslyn at 4.15, Boys JV Soccer versus Jericho at 4.30, Varsity Field Hockey vs. Garden City at 4.45 and Boys Varsity Soccer vs. Melbourne at 7 o'clock. Go, Go Seahawks! Seahawks. And that's the Hawk Talk for today. We'll see you tomorrow for Trivia Thursday. Until then, I'm Dean Carfora. And I'm Danny Moore. Have a, Have a great, great day, Coldspring Harbor. Harbor.